All right, y'all, we are back with another video. And before we start, please put prayers for Donald Trump in the comment section. We must protect President Trump at all times. And it brings me to this video right here. If y'all remember in the CNN interview Dinah Bash did with Kamala Harris, you see how easy uh Dina Badge made it easy for Kamala Harris. She didn't really give her any pushback on anything. She really just sat there and let Kamala Harris lie. Now, I did say this in my previous video, how she was kind of trying to help Kamala Harris out. Ain't that bad when you got somebody that's on your side that's helping you out and your interview still turned out to be disastrous? You know, I mean, this right here is just crazy. And now, Tussie Gabbard, join cnn and talk to dana bash and you're gonna see a lot of these, these lies dana bash is gonna try to push and tussie gabbard finna call out all of these lies especially the lies that kamala harris said during that interview with dana bash that dana bash did not call out didn't give her any pushback but when dana bash interviewed jd vance you we seen what she did to jd vance she was questioning him on everything but she didn't do the same thing to Kamala Harris. So Tussie Gabbard is finna call out all those lies to Dino Bash's face. And she deserves it. So like I said, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and dive straight into this. I think there was a great addition for Donald Trump to add Tussie Gabbard, RFK Jr., Elon Musk. That I mean, that right there is a great team, man. So uh, let's go ahead and dive straight into this, y'all. Let's go. We're counting down to the Harris-Trump debate, and my next guest is a former 2020 Democratic presidential candidate and congresswoman who endorsed Trump this week and is helping him prepare for that debate. Here with me now is former Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Vice President Harris's Thanks, campaign Donna. manager released a memo this morning saying they expect former President Trump to be a, quote, formidable opponent on the debate stage. Do you think Kamala Harris will be a formidable opponent as well. And how is the former president preparing to debate her? Yeah, I think Kamala Harris has a lot of experience. She is not to be underestimated. Uh, president Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris have very different records. This is a unique situation where we have two candidates who have served at the highest offices in the land. President Trump, four years as president, Kamala Harris, now almost four years as vice president, working alongside President Biden. And so this will be an opportunity for voters to look at and compare and contrast those records. Uh, if, if I can be helpful to President Trump in any way, it really is just in sharing the experience that I had with her on that debate stage in 2020. And frankly, helping to point out some ways that Kamala Harris has already shown that she is trying to move away from her record, move away from her positions, and uh, how that contradicts the positions and statements that she is making now that she is the Democratic nominee. And it is a remarkable situation in that you are uh, a uh, Democrat who debated her in a Democratic primary, and now you are helping the Republican uh, nominee to debate her. And on that, I remember in 2020, you attacked Harris for being too aggressive as a prosecutor, which is the opposite from what Donald Trump is saying about her as weak on crime. So which is it? What I pointed out in that debate stage in the 2020 campaign was her hypocrisy. It was how she was saying one thing and doing another, how she was prosecuting people for, for smoking marijuana and laughing about it when she was asked about it. Uh, on a radio show. And I think this goes to the heart of many of these different issues that we're seeing now that Kamala Harris is, is trying to hide from voters is how mm -hmm. she says her position is one thing, but her actions and her record show exactly the opposite. And you can point to that on issues related uh, to the economy, issues related to freedom of speech. She says she stands for freedom of speech. And yet, as we've seen time and time again, her and Joe Biden have taken actions both directly and indirectly to censor free speech. Uh, yep. Most recently, I can point to my own experience of this, of how the Harris-Biden administration have added me to a secret domestic terror watch list the very day after uh, Kamala Harris was endorsed by Joe Biden. And I was on TV and warning the American people about what I saw as the dangers of a Kamala Harris presidency taking action that was clearly political retaliation. They've done this yep. to a lot of different people, which points to how dangerous 
it is to have people in power so willing to abuse that power to go after political opponents. Okay. I, uh, I'm not familiar with the secret terror watch list. We're definitely wow. going to follow up on that. Uh, but I do wow. want to move on to what is happening with regard to... Con Look how fast Dinah Bears want to move on. You see that? When she was talking about she was added to this list now, oh, I, I, I don't know anything about that. You don't, it ain't that you, you don't know anything about it. You know something about it. You just don't want to talk about it. She just don't want to talk about it. Let that would have been Kamala Harris sitting over there saying the same thing that Tusty Gabbard is saying about Trump or something like that. Oh, Dana Bash, she would love to, to sit and talk about that. But now she's like, oh, let's move on. I'm telling you, man, they is so freaking biased. But I love the way Tusty Gabbard is handling herself right now. Let's keep it going. Controversy after the former president visited Ar Arlington National Cemetery this week. His campaign took photos and video uh, of him in Section 60, where veterans uh, of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan are buried, used it in a campaign video. The Army also says that Trump staffers abruptly pushed aside a cemetery official who tried to enforce Arlington's rules prohibiting political activities. I know you were uh, with Trump at least earlier in that day uh, at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Did you witness the altercation at Section 60? 60? Uh, I was there from the, the beginning with the laying of the wreaths with the family members, the Gold Star family members and, and some of the survivors of that terrorist attack. Uh, in that disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan. I was with them at Section 60, and what I saw was a very grave and somber remembrance and honoring of those lives that were lost. And I saw President Trump spending time at the invitation of these Gold Star families with them. Uh, he was there for a few hours. I did not see or hear about any kind of altercation until something came out in the news uh, later on. The families were there. Uh, grieving alongside uh, President Trump. And, and it was a very special moment to really remember their names, remember their memories, and understand the true cost of war and, and the consequences of the decisions that Kamala Harris and Joe Biden made in the execution of that withdrawal. Yeah, and... and you see, this is where CNN does, and this is what Donald Trump was talking about. Like, when he, when he went there... You know, like he said, he was asked to go there. And, you know, Donald Trump didn't mind, you know, going, you know, showing his support and stuff. And then you get the CNN, MSNBC, they try to run these lies on Donald Trump. Look at this dumb statement that they got up here. Look what they got prompted up here. The Army said Trump campaign broke rules by family at Arlington, abruptly pushed aside official who tried to stop. This is what CNN be doing. Because they don't want nobody voting for Donald Trump. So they try to make it seem like he broke the rules. Like, especially as something that's very, very serious. Very, very serious. People who lost their loved ones. And Donald Trump went out there, spent, I know they said two to three hours out there. And then you get CNN, I'm trying to say that he's doing it just so people can, I guess, like help him out in the polls or something like that. Some type of agenda. It's just stupid. It's like everything Donald Trump do, they try to say something. They try to say he's doing something wrong or he's just trying to, he don't really want to do it. He's just doing it just so people can feel sorrow, or so people can like, you know what I'm saying? It is just crazy. I don't know why they always do this. He went to go show his respects. Kamala Harris didn't show up. Joe Biden didn't show up. Donald Trump showed up and, and sat there for two to three hours and trying to make it seem like he's only just doing it to be doing it so he can go up in the polls and stuff like that. This is what they saying. And it's just sad that they got to go that far. Why isn't they calling out Kamala Harris and Joe Biden for not even going? They didn't even show up. And that's the reason why Kamala Harris got shredded because she acting like she uh, supported when she don't. She didn't even show up. She don't even care. All she care about is lying, telling lie after lie after lie. And I'm going to be the one to call that crap out. It's just crazy. It is very clear that the uh, former president was invited in his personal capacity, as you said, by 
uh, a, a family of uh, one of the service members who was killed uh, about, a, about two years ago during the withdrawal from Afghanistan. It the was question, three years ago. Three years ago. Three years thank ago you, to thank the you day on me. August 26th. Yes, three years ago. The question is about the federal law and Arlington's rules that prohibit partisan or political activities at national cemeteries. And um, the military uh, and also other members of other families who are buried right near there are upset about the campaign filming it and posting the video online. Do you believe that was appropriate? You know, I checked with the campaign on this question and uh, they have exchanges with the, the officials at Arlington Cemetery. They were approved to bring a camera there to document this historic and momentous day that should not be forgotten by any mm -hmm. American. And to have a former president there and joining these Gold Star families, I know President Trump wanted to share that yeah. with others, especially given the fact that President Biden and Harris, I heard, were, were invited by some of these family members. They not only didn't come, they didn't even respond to Listen to that. But see, CNN ain't going to talk about that. These families that lost their loved ones invited Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. They didn't come and they didn't even respond. But CNN is not going to talk about that. They want to talk about an altercation that was at the cemetery. That's what they want to talk about because they got to they got to push some type of agenda on Donald Trump. They're trying to put something bad on Donald Trump. Oh, it's Donald Trump fault. Why did he do this? Why did he do that? But they would not ask the question, why didn't Joe Biden and Kamala Harris show up when they the families was grieving and they invited them and they didn't even respond? Let that would have been Donald Trump if Donald Trump didn't respond or show up. CNN had been all over it. Donald Trump was invited. He let the American people down. He didn't show up. He didn't care. They can't do that because Donald Trump actually showed up. And, and talk with the families. He said this at his rally. He talked with the families for hours. Took pictures. And Kamala Harris them didn't even show up because they didn't care. And then she go make a video saying, acting like she really care. That's why the Gold Star family, that's why they, they, they just straight destroyed her because she's a liar. To that invitation. And, and now to have Kamala Harris put this statement out yesterday saying that she stands with these families, she stands with the military and with veterans, you only have to look at the response that came from the Gold Star families of these 13 service members of how offended they were by that yep. statement, given she has not made any effort, not on that third anniversary or any other time, to call them directly to offer her condolences yep. and even apologies for their decisions that led to the loss of their loved ones. Do you think that the campaign will release that uh, communication that you're talking about? Because the army uh, is I saying thought they very, already clearly, had, very clearly that that Y'all noted that Dinah Bash be trying to push, like she be trying to not talk about Kamala Harris when Tulsi Gabbard make a good statement about something, she try to hurry up and push it to the side and get back to Donald Trump. But that's what I'm saying. They'll never say, why didn't Dinah say, you know what Tulsi? That is, you know, you is right right there. I don't, you know, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris should have showed up. They should have called. She's not doing that. And that's the reason why I love the way Tussie Gabbard is handling this because she's calling out every single lie. Kamala Harris campaign should consider dropping out. They are cooked. They are done. You let these people down and then... Not only did you not respond to them when they called you and they invited you to be there, you didn't show up, you didn't respond to their call, and then you go online and say, I stand with them. What do you call it? How do you stand with somebody and you didn't even respond to them? You didn't show up and you didn't respond back to their message. But then you go online and say you stand. That is just fake. That is fake. That's why we must get President Trump back in that White House immediately. Everybody, when it's time to vote, please go out and vote. Let's put President Trump back in the White House. And like I said, I am in, uh, enjoying the fact that Tussie Gabbard is calling all of this stuff out. And you can see Dinah Bass is just trying to get past everything. Every time something, Tussie Gabbard make a good, you know, statement about Kamala Harris, why she didn't do this, why she didn't do this, Dinah Bass try to push it back to Donald Trump. And that's what I'm catching on to was that they broke the rules 
uh, because it was clearly put out online, pictures, video, meant as a part of his campaign? I, I thought they already had. I was informed that uh, they had come to an agreement. They could bring a camera there. And as far as I know and the public statements I've seen from the Army is that the matter is closed. I think the matter is closed about the altercation, alleged altercation, which you didn't see, but I'm not sure it's closed with the idea that uh, they seem to have broken the rules Man. and perhaps even federal law by putting out the campaign video. She don't even know what she's talking about. Dana, oh, my God, bro. Dana Bash don't even know what she's talking about. She just got to say something bad about the Trump campaign. That's all she want to do. You see, she ain't saying anything bad about Kamala Harris. Everything goes right back to Donald Trump. Yeah. I, I want to ask you about... Here, here's, i just like to say one, one last thing on this, because I think it's important, and I've seen a lot of the, the headlines and the stories and, and the concerns that people are raising about this, but, but to me, as, as a soldier and as someone who has been deployed to different war mm -hmm. zones in the world, and I have friends who are buried there at Section 60, what is more outrageous to me is that there wasn't universal coverage of the momentous day of the third anniversary of the loss of these 13 Gold Star families and the outrage that they feel that, they, that their loved ones are not getting the kind of coverage and memory that their great sacrifice deserves. That, that is what everyone should be outraged about. Well, yeah, we have covered the uh, horrible, horrible events uh, three years ago and, uh, and have done so several times. Uh, over and over again. So I appreciate you also talking about their memories because it is important. Before you go, uh, you said in an interview this week that you were interested in serving in a Trump administration, potentially as Secretary of State, maybe Secretary of Defense. Have you discussed that with Donald Trump directly? No, I haven't. You know, it's important for us right now to point out the difference between Kamala Harris and President Donald Trump, yep. uh, what kind of president and commander in chief they would be. And really the leading um, concern that I have is about this, about the contrast between their positions and their records. And the fact that as we sit here today, President Biden and Kamala Harris have us embroiled in wars in three different regions yep. of the world, have us closer to the brink of World War III and nuclear war now than ever before, according to the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists. And this should be of concern, not just to Republicans and Democrats, it should be a concern to all Americans because what's at question is our ability to have a future and yep. to live in a free society where we can be peaceful and prosperous. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, this is personal for me as it be, should be personal for, for all Americans because it is our future that's on the line here in this decision that we as voters have to make about who we want our commander in chief to be. Former Congresswoman wow. Tulsi Gabbard, thank you so much for- Let's go, man. Shout out to Tulsi Gabbard, the way she answered them questions. Like I said, we close to more wars because of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Tulsi Gabbard called out every single lie from Kamala Harris and her campaign. They should consider getting the crap up out of here. Donald Trump is going to destroy this woman. I don't even think Kamala Harris even agreed to the ABC debate yet. You're on ABC. Of course, George Sloppinopoulos and them do not like Donald Trump. And yet she still haven't even accepted the debate yet. It's supposed to be in nine days, September 10th. So we know we ain't getting any more interviews. And I like the way Tulsi Gabbard kind of handled Dinah Bash on this for really giving Kamala Harris them softball questions. And, you know, Tulsi Gabbard came straight to us and said, hey, this is what she did. This is what she didn't do. She called out everything. Salute to Tulsi Gabbard, man. Like I said, y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.